where this being has unlimited power, unlimited everything, because he's just always... Do you disagree? But do you disagree? I, I, just, I just do, yes. I okay, agree so now tell me I just how, how is this being who's supposed to exist always is limited? No, no, I'm not saying, I'm saying, I'm not saying that he could not be unlimited. And I, 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 so, I, I, so you I, I, agree I, I, that the being has to be unlimited? No, I do not, I do not, I'm, I'm just saying. And, and you I cannot can, agree I, and no, not agree. You no, know, I, no, I know I'm saying, I, 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 can, I can put myself in your position and hypothesize that this being was unlimited. Do you accept unlimited. rationally, rationally do you accept that that being has to be absolute? Uh, not really. No. Okay. If it's not absolute, then it's dependent, finite and limited. Not absolute. How do you accept something that exists without a beginning is limited and dependent and finite? No, because a magic being justify that rationally. As like a being, no, justify it rationally. Just come into existence. Being didn't come into existence. No, you I mean, you like, get here. Like, obviously, it's something like okay, nothing that would have just always existed. There has to be something that exists always. Why are you now again? You're backtracking. It says it we agree. Always exists, no, no. That's unconscious and just like a gathering, just like your material. kitchen, like your kitchen, unconscious and not being able no, to make a cup of coffee. There's a difference between a kitchen, and like I say, you cannot compare a kitchen to something the size of the universe and its complexity of the universe. Like obviously, a kitchen does not apply the same laws. Are you giving universe again consciousness, intent, design, and purpose and will? And you could, no, you could almost say in the way the world, universe does have like of consciousness because stuff happens so now we've moved one step forward this universe this is not a god model it's a godless model this universe has consciousness i'm not saying it has consciousness but i'm saying you could have now you're backtracking no again. i'm saying it doesn't have i know it doesn't have consciousness but when i say i can have consciousness i can see how you can see it in such a way where it has the consciousness because stuff happens you are arriving at those conclusions in a way which is not by emotion but intellectual reasoning no, so I, your I intellect your intellect is directing you to say this universe looks like it has consciousness i guess you know i guess well, i guess the the truth is that i just cannot agree with you and it's not agreeing agree it's about agreeing with you that's I the question I, I, I just can't do you agree with you i cannot agree do you agree with you max i do agree with myself right I think so do you agree with you that the universe shows consciousness not there, not really. Not really. Not okay. Really. I don't necessarily think it shows consciousness, but I think because it stuff happens so randomly, you can Random. perceive it in a way. So something that exists eternally, you are giving the attribute of randomness eternally. And yet randomness created order. Of course. So so this randomness, this universe, without any consciousness. No no no, I'll tell you how, it's God. Huh. Like equilibrium. When you expend energy, when something expends energy, it creates order. The universe is always becoming less disordered. But on a small you know what scale, random means? if you get rid of energy, you can create order. That's what energy. When you're when you're running and doing stuff, you're expending energy. You are creating Brother, order. I want to borrow your example again. Like Max, you know, Max. Now this is still hot, right? <laughs> now if I go into a kitchen. Yeah. With my big hammer or whatever I have, <laughs> and smash randomly everything of your kitchen. Yeah. When can I get a good cup of coffee? Oh, no, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, <laughs> you have, you have, you have like made the universe less disordered. But that's what I'm saying. But, your kitchen, exactly. I am randomly smashing your fridge. That's, that's, that's but, what but, you're but you can expend energy. You, you know what I'm saying? You can expend energy <laughs> to move and remake the stuff. That's what I'm... Look, look. What you give to the universe, I give to the kitchen. Randomness. I randomly go and smash your kitchen upside down. When am I going to expect a coffee? In a cup like that? When someone makes... When someone expends the energy to make one. You are again saying, without... With this randomness, random movement, you can never get no, coffee. No, 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 I'm saying, obviously stuff is not random nowadays because people have brains and people can consciously do stuff. The universe doesn't have brains, does it? No, but we have brains. But so we can consciously but you do don't, stuff. But you don't control and the universe. To make it to the but universe you, doesn't make it to you. You don't control the universe and you didn't control the universe at the very beginning when there's no beginning. So yes, the, the point, the okay. point no, is still... Okay. No, no, the most random thing you could say up to the point of where stuff took over by itself, where life took over by itself, is up to the point where two amino acids came together and divided. That's like that's that's like the randomness it comes up to. And then from there onwards, life took on its own control. I am very getting confused. You are at one point saying you can never have a cup of coffee. How do you pronounce it? Colicci? I don't drink coffee. Yeah, but same. I'm saying my brother does. He wants coffee from your kitchen. He goes in your kitchen randomly and smashes everything. Randomly. 
you are suggesting somehow it's possible to have it, yeah. by random events of movements to have no, this it coffee. Be mad, it he would consciously decide to go to the shop and get new but stuff, I'm, I'm, which would spend so, energy. So, so you if he smashes place. your kitchen, do you still think it's possible to have a coffee? I guess. No, that kind of coffee, but you have another kind of coffee. How can you have another kind of coffee? <laughs> you would, you would go to Starbucks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> from his kitchen. The no, no, what I'm saying. What we're illustrating. No, what we're illustrating is, if his kitchen was the whole universe. Yeah, but you're with like you with, 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 with random events, <laughs> imagine his kitchen was the all the universe that, that what there was. Yeah. With random movements, yeah, with random movements, you can never get a cup of coffee. Yes, like, a you can never get a universe in a cup of coffee. Like we have today in random. No, That's what I'm trying a, to get. Like I said, and I'm okay, sure Max understands. The big difference between a cup of coffee and the universe. The universe did not randomly create a cup of okay. coffee, but okay. it created. Okay. Now, suppose God existed. How many gods rationally make sense to exist? One or many? One. I agree with you. Monotheism. That means polytheism or other belief system where there are many gods, we can disregard that because it doesn't make sense. I am a Muslim. Do you know how many gods I believe in? One. One God. Do you know what are the characteristics or attributes I give, not I give, God has given to himself? Let me show you. I don't have to tell you. I can just show it to you. Look, there's a small chapter in the Quran. This is confirming our speculative understanding of who God is. Surah 112. There are 114 chapters or surahs in the Quran. This is two more after that, right? This is the third, ultimate third. Say he is Allah who is one. Allah the eternal refuge, the eternal being. Neither begets nor is born. He hasn't got any children, he hasn't got any fathers of relation. Yeah? One and only and unique. No fathers, no children. Nor is there any, uh, nor is there to him any equivalent. There's no likeness or comparison or comparable anything to him. So you have, God is describing himself, he's one and only and unique. He's eternal and absolute. He's not born and doesn't produce children or doesn't produce any offspring. Yes, I, I, and I, I know there's nothing like unto God. That, now, you're not going to get me to this, say No, what I'm saying is, God no, exists. There is, look how this is so coherent one God. about oneness of God the Quran provides. You know there can be only two models of this universe. A God model, a Godless model. The God model the Quran provides, your heart and your mind will be happy with, tranquil with, content with. It describes God, who is this? One and only and independent and absolute. It is not saying, oh, I don't know. It's not saying like, you know, let me give you an example. Suppose this book said, God created the rainbow for a reason that when he's about to destroy mankind again and looks at the cloud and sees the rainbow and says, oh, I remember now not to destroy mankind. You will say, what kind of God is that? Who needs reminding by a rainbow? Our God, there's not a leaf that falls on the ground or the darkest of the ants on a dark night, but God is unaware of. He is the all aware. He created this. I know, but I guess to me, I just cannot see how God... Have you read the Quran? No. Okay. I'll, Let me I'll give be you honest, an I haven't read it. No problem. It's a long no book problem. and no, no. I find it a bit boring. Look, such a small book, it fits in your pocket. No, that's not the proper Quran. That is the proper Quran. Come on. Come on. The proper Quran is in Arabic. This is an Arabic. Yeah, I don't know how to read Arabic. No, you know? Yeah. You do? I don't know how to read Arabic. No, no. And English? The only Quran I would trust and is an old Quran, one that's untranslated. Okay, but you need to learn Arabic. Well, I need to learn right? Arabic. Right. To do Since that. you haven't learned Arabic yet, you can use a, an aid, what we call a translation, and read it. I, I want to show you something extraordinary, but it's simple. You know how we're I've discussing. Got to leave in a minute, okay, so we will summarize this, right? Max, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, but I want to share with you. You know how we talk about, we're speculating about this universe and the cause of this universe and the origin of this universe? We want to have guidance, we want to know the truth. Look what the Quran says about this book. Shall I tell you the Arabic first because English is... No, you first. no, no. And then I'll try to translate. I won't understand it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
only two statements of the Quran. Alif Lam Mim. This is the book about which there is no doubt a guidance for those who are conscious of Allah, God. Allah is the name of God. So this book from the very outset tells you, this is a book which gives you guidance without doubt, without a doubt. For those who are conscious of God, you are conscious that either there is God or there isn't. You know, the reality is this. It will guide you without a doubt. Look, I haven't made any notes. This is a gift from me to you. Read it, contemplate, reflect on it. And maybe sometimes later when you're again in the park, we discuss. But now, you know, okay. I leave you with this. Quran. Yeah, have a good day. Okay, take care, Max. Yeah, you too. Nice pleasure speaking to you. Same.